daughter said, <coughs> she's out there. Uh, there's a few things uh, that have gone by uh, because the dates have kind of changed. I first arrived in Rapid City in December 1970. Those of you that were around might remember the old Central High School burning. I was here like two days before that. They set the high schools on fire. Let's get up there and get some pictures. And uh, I said, where's the school? <laughs> so uh, that was my introduction to uh, uh, Rapid City uh, disasters in a, in a way. Uh, I, I first took pictures while well, I was a copy boy back in Fort Hayward, Michigan. In, uh, that was in about 62. Uh, in 64, I was drafted, was a photographer in the Army there for a couple of years and got out in October of uh, 1966 and I had a chance to go cover a football game uh, later in November. It was my first big time football game to take pictures of. And I had one picture that uh, I'm really impressed with even to two guys talking. And that was Duffy Doherty, head coach at Michigan State University, and Eric Garcia, head coach at Notre Dame. This was the day of the famous 10 10 cop. Both schools were rated one or two on various polls, depending on what you mean. So that was my start to learn how to uh, get me qualified to take pictures at the Detroit Lions for a couple of years, and then to come out here and take pictures of the Black Hills football. Uh, baseball, uh, early on, uh, was the, for me, the uh, World Series in 68. In 68, you might remember that uh, Benny McLean won 31 games that year, was gonna be the star of the World Series against uh, Gibson in St. Louis. Uh, it didn't work out that way because Mickey Rolich uh, who had won about 27 games that year, won three games in the World Series. So he was kind of a hero for Detroit in those days. Uh, but to bring it back up, that qualified me to take pictures of post 22. <laughs> <laughs> in the World Series. And uh, I'm just uh, I'm going to refer to a couple notes here. And uh, I've got to give them, first of all, a big thank you to the families athletes that are ready to go against any kind of competition, whether it be the first pitch of a little big game of their career or standing on a podium at the Olympics to, to receive a goal. Rapid City is and Black Hills area athletes are, will take on this challenge at any time out there. But there are several families that I'm not going to get into specific names of the athletes themselves, but uh, over the years, the, uh, the, the, these names keep coming up. Uh, the Moss family, at least two generations of photographers of the athletes, from runners, gymnastics, and what have you. Uh, the Hearns, a couple of generations there. Claiborne's, a couple generations there. Uh, one, I'm sure it's about three generations of the McGuire family. I think it's about three since 1960. And there's uh, one that might be four, and that's the Kirsch family. That they, the, like four generations of following those athletes along. I might be late. I'm not telling you. It's almost a quarter of the way into it. <laughs> there's one, one family that they're involved in athletics and, and officiating, and I misspelled their name the very first time that I ran a picture of one of their kids. And ever since then, Mickey Magna Hut started a conversation with me. Before he'd say hello, how are things going, what you up to, he would say, M-A-G. <laughs> A, and then <laughs> someplace in there I got a follow up. <laughs> he never let me forget it out there. Uh, like I said a bit ago, the 
athletes out here are not shy about taking on any kind of competition, whether it be state, local, national, or international. And I applaud them. 